Hello everyone, this is Haunt Central, and today I'm going to be making my first Halloween 2019 video, and we are going to be discussing the 2019 Spirit Halloween sneak peeks and my thoughts and opinions. You won't get a reaction out of me in this video because, of course, I have already watched all the videos on Instagram, YouTube, and Spirit's website, but you will get to see my thoughts and opinions in this video, so I hope you enjoy. <music> First guys, before we get to today's video, I would like to apologize about the name problem on my channel. Yes, I am still Haunt Central. It will be Haunt Central for Halloween 2019. I, it is currently named Not Jade Rail Fanning because I had some rail fanning videos to post. It told me I had three name changes, that, so I just changed the name temporarily to post those videos. Now it's going to change it right back, but unfortunately it is not letting me, so I will change it back to Haunt Central as soon as I can, but you can follow me on Instagram at haunt underscore central. But anyways, and I am also apologizing about the inactivity over the winter. I really had nothing to post um, about the Halloween season like some haunters did. Um, I really never got to making any videos like my top 10 themes or top 10 animatronics of all time. But now the guys to today's video, please enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next Halloween video. Our first sneak peek, guys, is the Terror Dog life-size replica from Ghostbusters. The price tag sits at $499.99, so $500 plus the step pad would be $510. Currently, I think that is a lot for a prop to uh, spend, and I'm interested to, I would be interested to see how big the size is on this prop. I'm sure that it is given the fact it says life size it is relatively big unfortunately we will not see this prop in stores this year guys um so if you wanted to see the prop in person you would have to spend the 500 dollars, which is pretty excessive but i do think it is definitely a cool prop a cool first release from spirit and i wish we could have seen it in stores Our next prop is the 7-foot Rotten Ringmaster. He is $349.99, so with a step pad, around $410. He is exclusive, so we will see him in stores this year, and he is definitely one of the props that is predicting a clown or circus theme for this year, which I can't wait to see if it happens. Hopefully it does. But he is a little overpriced, but looks like a really cool prop, something we've never really seen before from Spirit. So I hope to see him in stores this year. Great for a second sneak peek and well done spirit. So I definitely hope to see him in stores this year and um, definitely a really cool prop to add to the themes. My little friend here had dreams of joining the circus where all her wishes would come true. How's that working out for you? <laughs> The next prop I'll be discussing is the 2.2 foot Bloodthirsty Betty animatronic from Spirit. It is $160, so about $170, which doesn't seem like a bad price for this. Um, you could definitely either hang it on a wall or on the ground, which I've always wanted Spirit to make that into one prop. Uh, Haining Hellfiend, I always wanted them to make it as a. I wanted them to make that as a ground prop and a hanging prop for some people that did want to hang it up to spend the $150. But this one's definitely a really cool prop. I hope I hope to see it in my store and I can't wait to see how they um, incorporate it into the themes. So we will see it in store and I might just have to buy this one as one of my props for this year. The next prop is the 6.3 foot Twisty the Clown static prop. He is $200, which personally I am not a fan of him at all. I do not think that $200 is anywhere near worth it for a static prop that just kind of sits there and makes sounds. I thought Burlap Horror last year was uh, overpriced and he was definitely way cooler than this guy. But I'm sorry to fans that uh, do like him and 
Uh, he is, unfortunately for them, for people who like him, he is not exclusive, so you only see him online. He will not be a part of our theme for this year. But if he was, he definitely would have predicted the clown theme even more. But um, I am not a fan of this one at all. So I am kind of glad that it is online only, and I will not have to see it in stores. Next prop is the six foot experimental Eddie. He is $200, which personally I am a big fan of this prop. I might get him on the 50% off sale in November, but I do think he's a really cool prop and he may predict some sort of lab theme for us this year in the back. If there is going to be a lab theme, it would definitely be in the back. But um, he definitely looks like a really cool prop, definitely worth the price, uh, fair price at $200. But with the step pad, it would be $210, which would definitely be worth it for this guy. He is definitely a reskin from props we've seen before, but he is definitely a cool one of, of that. The next prop to review is a licensed prop from the movie Trick or Treat. It is the 4.3 foot Sam animatronic. He sits at $170, which personally, I do not think that's a bad price at all. I am a fan of him. He looks really cool. I can't wait to see how Spirit incorporates him into the themes for this year. I definitely think he will be in the front theme because he is definitely similar to Michael Myers, and he will probably be in the same sort of position as Michael Myers was in the theme. So I cannot wait to see him in stores, and I might have to buy him this year as well. So... We'll see which ones I buy and if I buy this one, but he's definitely a cool prop to add to my list. The next prop to review is the seven foot Crouchy the Clown animatronic. He is $300. He definitely is going to be one of the props that will be included in a clown theme if we get one. I do think he is uh, just kind of a reskin of Towering Clown, just more overpriced and uh, less movement and uh like character so i am not a fan of him at all um but i would like to see him in stores this year to see him in person to get my definite opinion there but i definitely will not be buying this one this year um i do not see him coming back for a return next year so i probably won't be buying him at all so i'm sorry to fans that do like him but i am not a fan of him at all The last prop for this video to review is the 5.8 foot tortured torso uh, constant motion animatronic. He is $130, which personally uh, I do think he is real similar to the electrified corpse, but he is definitely uh, a way cooler theme. That, I'm sorry, animatronic because he looks more like an actual person rather than a zombie. So I can't wait to see how he is. Um, incorporated into the themes for this year. He is probably another animatronic that would predict a lab theme for this year. Well, I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for another opinion video coming out, and happy hauntings. I'll see you guys in the next Halloween 2019 video.